this is such an insult to the nursing profession, but this is coming from the nursing profession because this is what they want, the people that are dictating the standard of care. To solve the U.S. nursing shortage crisis, the country must change its immigration policies. Oh, so we have to change our entire demographics to serve the failed leadership at American Nurses Association. Do I have that right? Our entire demographic of the country has to change because American Nurses Association, which is tied to Global Nurses United and National Nurses United, which is tied to the biggest traffickers in the world at the UN, because that's where International Nurse Council is, decided to go global. So America has to change everything because of the failed leadership of the nurses at American Nurses Association. Okay, got it. See, they could have been doing something about the staffing problem and, and retaining nurses a long time ago, but not when they're too busy writing their indoctrination papers, wanting to push the Agenda 2030 and ram it down people's throat. And now they're really ramming it down every, all nurses' throats. This is 2014, because they've been on board with this for a long time. Global health care, but you see down here, nursing migration and the global health care economy. These are people that do not care. These are nurses that don't know how to care. They don't. They shouldn't even be nurses. They shouldn't even have a seat at the table in Washington as far as I'm concerned. Because what their motives are has nothing to do with patients. It certainly doesn't have to do with protecting American nurses. Because they seem to have a problem with America. And if you doubt that, we'll just look. The second bullet point. Nurse migration is part of globalization initiatives. It's part of globalization initiatives. And then you can see the rest, recruitment and deployment must be regulated, self-sustainable workforces, human rights must be respected. International Council of Nurses can't even respect human rights. They violate them. American Nurses Association violates them. And they do it all on the heels that it's about caring and we have to care about the migrants um, coming across the border. And that's why we have to have open borders. No, you just are helping the globalists wanting to get cheap labors. I mean, you're aligned with the UN. But it gets crazier. This is how crazy it gets. This is 2019. Global citizens, healthy communities, integrating the sustainable development goals into the nursing curriculum. They're literally pushing this into the nursing curriculum. This has nothing to do with science. This has nothing to do except with a globalization political agenda. And let me show you their highlights. Nurse educators are responsible for the development of students as global citizens. What? Global citizen. So not you're not an American. If you're an American nurse, you're not an American citizen anymore. No. And they're pushed, look at how hard they're pushing this. The next bullet point, integrating the sustainable, unsustainable development goals into the curriculum is required. Right, to indoctrinate you that you're not an American citizen anymore. You're a global citizen. You're a global nurse. Students can achieve global citizenship through global experience. Oh, you'll love this one. Glocal, what glocal means is you have global experience and you have local. Glocal, yes, yeah, so stupid. What the, this whole agenda is stupid. <sighs> global health competencies promote global citizenship and achievement of sustainable, unsustainable development goals. And then I can't see the last one because it's blocked from the recording. But experiences facilitate global citizenship. So they're putting this in the curriculum indoctrinating America like this is a disgrace too, to just the founding and everything America or America's the men and women that died for the freedoms because being a global citizen is not being free it's about tyranny and if you're a nurse you should never be about tyranny but the top of American Nurses Association and all of these unions and associations of nursing that's what they've aligned with is tyrannical agendas 
while they use nursing and, and try to claim empathy and caring about others. No, you should be able to fix your own backyard first before you take your, your circus show global. But you haven't. You've watched nurses fall away, especially during, after, because after 2020, especially, really the hospitals just came out and showed their ugly self, how much they'll cut your staff, how little they care. And yet you, you um, associations of nursing and you unions, you stand by and you rally for those nurses and tell them you care about their cause. But you don't tell them what you're aligned with. You don't tell them that because they failed miserably to actually do something about you having the staff here in America. They've been too busy with their globalist um, freak show at the UN to focus on the problems at hand. They can't even prioritize. American Nurses Association stands in solidarity with global nursing community during humanitarian crisis. Yes, because the border is a crisis. Yeah, but they want open borders. Does it make any sense? No. It's like they care more they don't care. Let me just say that. They don't care. It's all politically driven. These are nurses that shouldn't be nurses, in my opinion. They should just go and become lobbyists or politicians. You're certainly not nurses, and you certainly shouldn't talk about care. But they want to say, like, the uh, for years now, uh, National Nurses United has sent their nurses to the border because it, in El Paso, they're the, the migrants that cross over. Many times they're crossing over for health care reasons, and that's, they put everything on just the border. We have problems here in America, okay? When you can get your own backyard fixed and deal with the problems here, and when you can have enough common sense to realize that open borders is a bad idea because you shouldn't want anybody trafficked into human slavery. I mean, but American Nurses Association, those higher educated nurses there, I guess they just can't, they couldn't put that together. But they want to push that you're not an American citizen, you're a global citizen. Well, that's a disgrace to this country. You, these people have no right to take away our country's sovereignty or individual sovereignty. And they betrayed nurses. That's what they did for decades now. These organizations and unions have said they, they, they cared about your cause. They cared about, uh, um, you know, making all their papers about retaining nurses. And what did they decide to go do? Well, in order to retain any nurses, we're going to have to send them out of the country. And they're going to have to become global citizens. The most stupidest thing ever from a bunch of failed leadership at American Nurses Association. This was a year ago. Why nurses from abroad are in high demand in North Dakota and across the U.S. There's plenty of nurses in this country. There is plenty. This was all because of their global agenda. That's how twisted these people are. American Nurses Association should no longer have a seat at the table in Washington because, first of all, they have lobbyists that aren't even nurses. Second of all, they don't know how to do the right thing. And they should not get a voice if what their agenda is going along with is turning American citizens into global citizens.